Hey everybody, this is Sully and I want to show you the coolest thing about Beta Flight 3.4 RC12 or 3. Alright, so first you want to plug in and you want to make sure you are flashed and there's a video up um, showing right now of the easiest way to flash to 3.4.0 RC 1, 2, or 3, which is in the unstable releases, 1, 2, or 3. It does not matter which, although I am using 3 right now, and I can fully recommend it for any of the F4 boards. I would call it as good as 3.3.3 .3 without any hesitation right now, as it is, not joking. Anyway, you're going to go connect, go to your CLI, Type in set, S-E-T space H-I-D. You want to set USB H-I-D C-D-C equals. Type that in, set space paste on, which mine is. So it is on, you want to hit save, enter. Reconnects, don't care, disconnect. Go here, type in game. Set up USB game controllers and voila, Omnibus F4. This is awesome. This is so you can use your FlySky or your regular controller through your flight controller as, as a PC controller. So I am turning on my FlySky here. Flip. And we're going to hit properties just to show FlySky is working as a controller. This is awesome. Now, what you're going to want to do. So what you want to do is head over to X360 CE, download the 64-bit version, open it, drop it into your GTA 5 folder, double click. It's going to open up. Find your Omnibus F4, search automatically, click next. Someone so kindly put this out there. Don't know who, but thank you. Hit finish. And voila, this is my right stick, check the motion. Left stick, check the motion. And I found that one of my buttons causes a trigger, which is great. Make sure it is absolutely not your arm button. And then go to start, hit record. And that way I now have an in-game start button. Hit save. X that out. Go to Lefix Mod, that is right here. I'll put the link down below. There's also a video that I put out on the best way to set up quadcopters in Grand Theft Auto V. And trust me, it's still the best way. So instead of all the controller moves in there, this is now going to act as your controller with no other setup. Then once you're ready, I hope this works. Recording. So yeah, it opens. We're going to wait here, blah, 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 going to fast forward through this. And one thing I like about using the F4 controller, and this is something that I did not like about using the Smart Propo Plus, is that the controller is obscenely precise. It is exactly as precise as your flight controller was in the last. So now you can hit all those nice little moves, and we're still loading, but it's going to take a minute. But you can hit all those nice little moves. It flies just like your quad. We're going to walk outside. Walking outside. Slow down and stop. Hit tab on the keyboard. Enter. Enter to start quadcopter flight. And like I said, it is just as sensitive as your regular flight controller. So I have never been able to make, if you see the controller motion down below, it has never been that smooth with Smart Pro Pro Plus. So that is it for my new highest recommendation for Grand Theft Auto V using Betaflight 3.4.0. All right, so if you hit 7, you can set your camera tilt. I have grown to like 
a lot more camera tilt than I used to, 45 degrees, 7, 7 again, camera, double check, 7, 7, control, this will give you your RC rates, I have grown to enjoy a very sensitive quad. And these set just like what's in Betaflight. So if you know your numbers offhand, you can get very close if you know what the graph looks like. I like that. That looks good. Don't want that. Drone. I do not want mass relative of that. Normally like to keep that at one. Max velocity 50. 3D flying is fun if you ever want to test it out. Acro mode, you can get self leveling, but why would you? Gamepad, that's fine. Physics, gravity. If you set the gravity lower, it's easier to fly inside. Higher, it's easier to fly outside. Use PIDs, collision detection. And visual. All right. So that's a nice run through. That's seven on the keypad. For me, anyway, you can set that somewhere. You can also set your motor volume. And let's just enjoy the flight.